Hello there, welcome back to another video. Um, you might be wondering, the setup is kind of changing since the last video, and that's because it's going to be changing. We are not too sure what we want these videos to look like or how our setup's gonna be. So for the next couple of videos, we're gonna be working something out and kind of trying different things until we lock something down. Um, you also might be wondering, where's the intro? Because we did have one in Ad 52. That's because we don't have one for this series, I guess you're calling it. We want to potentially do a tutorial on how we make our intros, so we're going to kind of be holding off until then before we start putting them in the videos. Today's video, we are going to be talking about how we use the Project Manager feature in Premiere Pro to team edit. The Project Managing feature in Premiere allows you to export your video in a way where it collects all your videos and assets and music into one location, basically making it a portable file. So this portable file allows you to then send it off to your friend who can then open it in their Premiere and import the project and basically continue as if they were editing it on their computer. This is a really useful feature in Premiere if you want to work on the same project with multiple people. Instead of, instead of you just typing away alone in your little man cave, editing the video all by yourself, it's a lot more collaborative and it's a lot more, you can kind of bounce ideas off each other, which really helps in the editing process. We use the Project Manager feature in Premiere to edit most of our videos in our Out of 52 series. So oftentimes we would film together and then we divide the project up into three sections and then each person would take their section and then go to their own computer and edit those pieces. Now, because we've been working together for so long, we do all have very similar editing styles. So when we bring it all together, it does mesh quite well. Something to keep in mind is that with this method, if you're working with someone who doesn't have a similar editing style to you, you still have full creative control over their part once you import it into your project. So once you're done editing your piece and you're ready to send it off to the person who's gonna be putting the whole project together, that's where you actually do the project manager-ing. Um, so we're gonna jump into Premiere and show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so I've got my laptop here. I've got a timeline that has just a couple clips in it. It has just a couple of our uh, helicopter clips. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It also has an adjustment layer at the top and some audio at the bottom. In order to project manager, go to the top left corner, hit file, and then go down, it's the second option from the bottom, it says Project Manager. So hit that one, and then it'll pop up this little window. So in this window, you can actually export more than one sequence if you would like. Right now, we only have one sequence, and I called it Sequence 1. So make sure that's checked, so that's the one you want to export. And then go down here and hit Collect Files and Copy to New Location. This is key. Now, if you go over here, there is an exclude unused clips file. Check that because that's very important as well. It will exclude all the clips you didn't use in the project and only include the ones that are actually in the timeline. So hit that one. The other options that you can include, like include audio, conform files, and include preview files, they just kind of take up more space. There's really no need to have them there. So we often don't include them at all. So just uncheck those two. So down here, you're gonna hit browse and this is where you're gonna save the file to. So hit browse, I'm gonna go into my hard drive here. I usually like to save it into the same file where I saved the project file. I like to make another file that just says project manager, just so I know. Um, save to that file, hit select folder. And then down here it says disk space. I like to hit calculate and it kind of gives me a rough, a rough estimate of how big that file is gonna be. So this whole entire project is going to be 1.36 gigs of footage and video and everything. And then you're gonna go down here and hit okay. As you make sure you save your project before just always save your projects there we go and it's going to do its little thing it's going to take a quick second here so we're going to wait sometimes if it's a bigger project it does take a couple minutes to copy all the media so don't freak out if it's there for a little while just give it its give it some time and be patient so once it's done project managing and you go to the file where it's saved if you go inside here, it's gonna have the file where everything is saved to. So that's kind of everything, your project file, your clips, your preview files, everything that you wanted it to save is going to be saved in this one file. So this is the one file that you send to the person who's gonna be compiling the video in order for them to put the whole thing together. So if we go inside, we can take a look. We have the song that I used, we have the three clips, and we have the project file. So that's everything you need to build this project on the other end. So now this is the point where you're gonna send it off to the person who's gonna be compiling the video. So to do so, I'm going to play the part as the person compiling the video. I'm gonna switch my laptop over to the other hand here, pretend totally different scenario, different guy. This is not, I'm not the editor, I'm now the compiler. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Premiere where you have your piece or where you're gonna be compiling all the pieces, the one project where you're gonna be compiling everything. So I have a, a different sequence here. It's uh, different shots, just some landscape and whatever. I have the sequence number two 
as before it was sequence number one. So totally different sequence, totally different everything. I'm a different guy, remember that. You're gonna go over here, you're gonna go up to file, you're gonna go up to open project, and you're gonna go to the file that they sent to you. So it's called copied underscore group editing tutorial. So I'm gonna go into that file. This is the one that was sent to me over the internet or however they got it to you. And then there's gonna be this project file here called group editing tutorial. So I'm gonna hit that one, double click. It's gonna import and it's gonna import their sequence as a, just a different tab down on this timeline over here. So this is the one that I was editing before and then this is the other sequence bef that they had sent to me. So if you take a look, it's everything the exact same way that they were doing on their computer. So I can continue on from where they left off. You now technically have two projects open. You have your project that you were working on, um, which is sequence number one, which is the one that I had sent to the person compiling the video. You also have the project where you want to compile all the videos and all the pieces. So this is the one that I had sent to the uh, person compiling the video. So I can then select all of this footage and everything hit control C or copy, go down to the other sequence where I'm gonna, going to be uh, compiling all of the pieces. And then I just put the player head at the end of my sequence, hit control V and it pastes everything from their piece into my piece. You're pretty much done. You can keep editing their piece as if you were editing all along. Um, if you have more editors, you just open more projects and copy them all over into this one main project and then you can just, you can export it, you can do whatever you want from here on out. So once you have your file from Project Manager, there's a bunch of different ways that you can transfer it over to the person who's gonna be compiling the video. Now, because the file kind of ranges from a gig to 30 gigs, um, transferring it over the cloud can be kind of difficult. Something that we have done in the past is because we all have the same footage, we will then delete the footage out of the file, all the footage and everything that we know each person has, and then we'll transfer just say the project file and any assets that you don't think the other person has, like some special music or some special graphics. We will then transfer that file over a cloud service like Google Drive or Dropbox, and then it brings the file down from a gig to like a couple megabytes usually, which is really, really nice. Okay, so that's pretty much it for group editing in Premiere. I hope you guys enjoyed and can use it in your own work workflows. We've used this for the last year and adopted it into our workflows and it allows us to turn around rather large projects in relatively short amount of time. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you go down and subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a like, leave a comment. It really helps us out. Go follow us on Instagram as well at tmsproductions underscore. And without further ado, I think we're going to leave you with our sponsor for this video. The sponsor for this week's video is Skillshare. I'm sure you've had similar experiences to me where you're trying to learn something new and you're scouring the internet trying to find one piece of relevant information. As a Skillshare member, I can take hundreds of different classes in a whole range of different topics without having to pay for each one. So I can dive into a class about editing in Premiere Pro, but in the same day, I can dive into a class about my second favorite passion, basket weaving. Right now on Skillshare, one of my favorite classes is video editing in Premiere Pro for Beginners by Jordi Vanderput. It's an incredible class. It allows me to brush up on my skills and really step up my editing game. Like I said before, there are thousands of different classes over a whole range of different topics, all for less than $10 a month. So whatever you're into, whether it's basket weaving, video editing, or culinary arts, it doesn't really matter. There's a class for you on Skillshare. Right now, you can get a free two month trial of Skillshare by going down to the link in our description below. Trust me guys, Skillshare is an amazing resource. I hope you go and check it out. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs>